Hello everyone. I am going to explain the circuit diagram of amplitude modulation and demodulation. We can see here, this is the circuit diagram which shows modulated circuit and this is demodulated circuit of AM. What is AM? AM is an amplitude modulated signal or amplitude modulator where the amplitude of the carrier signal varies according to the amplitude of the message signal. Here for amplitude modulation we need two signal. One is modulating signal, other one is carrier signal. So in this circuit diagram we are using VJT transistor along with the IFT and the voltage divider circuit and input carrier signal around uh, um, the tuned or we can say here IFT is used to get the tuned carrier frequency. So the carrier signal and message signal will be given to the circuit so that modulating signal will be obtained. What is the use of IFT? Here we need to find out the tuned frequency of IFT. Once we get the tuned frequency that will be taken as a carrier signal to the modulator circuit. So to get the tuned frequency of IFT we need to switch off the modulation signal. So we have recap the circuit as shown in the circuit diagram and uh, the input signal around the modulating signal around frequency 600 hertz is applied to the carrier uh, circuit as well as we need to find out the tuned frequency of IFT. To get the tuned frequency we need to switch off the message signal. Okay? To switch, uh, switch off the message signal and we need to observe the output waveform where we have to get the undistorted maximum amplitude at particular frequency. So we need to change the carrier frequency so that uh, one particular frequency will get the maximum amplitude. So that will be considered as a carrier frequency. So you can observe here, if I change the frequency, see if there is a decrease in the frequency and one particular frequency we are getting maximum undistorted output, undistorted output, this is a, see if you can observe here, one frequency we are getting the undistorted output and again it is decreasing. So what is that frequency? Undistorted output will be obtained. Undistorted output is obtained at 75 kilohertz. 75 kilohertz. This 75 kilohertz itself is considered as a carrier frequency. Now we need to switch on the message signal. So already we have set the carrier frequency that we call it as a tuned frequency of IFT, 75.5 kilohertz. Now we need to check the output waveform by switch on the carrier frequency, switch on the message signal. So now we are getting the output. See you can observe the output waveform, amplitude modulated signal. So here in this uh, experiment, once we get the amplitude modulated signal, we need to find out the modulation index. So modulation index is calculated by the formula E max minus E minimum divided by E max plus E minimum. So what is the maximum amplitude and minimum amplitude of the amplitude modulated signal. So M is less than 1 represent under modulation, M is equal to 1 represent under modulation, M greater than 1 is equal to over modulation. So how to change the modulation index? By changing the amplitude of the modulating signal, we can change the modulation index. You can observe here. If I change the modulate amplitude of the modulation signal, there is a changes in the envelope. So E max and E minimum also changes. See, you can observe here, you can observe the modulated signal. See, if I change the amplitude, it, 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 the value, it, this modulation index will greater than 1 so that it, we call it as a over modulation. If I decrease the amplitude, decrease the amplitude, the E max E minimum will be less than 1, M less than 1 so that it is called it as under modulation. If I keep properly E maximum E minimum with the modulation index is equal to 1, we call, call, call it as a proper modulation. 
this is we have observed from the modulated am modulated signal so using this waveform we can observe different modulation index so next part of the circuit is demodulation so output of the modulator circuit is given as input to the demodulator circuit you can observe this is the circuit diagram we call this circuit as a envelope detector so using demodulator with this component we will get the original modulating signal or message signal so we will observe this output waveform this is a modulated signal and we will observe the output at the output of the envelope detector see we can observe the output envelope detector this is similar to the original signal so uh, this is the way we are getting the demodulated signal as well as modulated signal using this circuit diagram thank you Well, I need